This is an interactive segment. You can also give us your thoughts on the stories making headlines on the dailies this morning. You can use the hashtag Morning Express KTN. You can also tweet me directly at Michelle Ngele. We'll be sampling your thoughts and comments in just a moment. So on the front page there, man with the toughest job in Kenya. And many have alluded to this uh, with uh, Wafula Chebukati there being at the helm of uh, the Independent Electoral and uh, Boundaries Commission. And uh, an interesting page here says Supreme Court indicted IBC and Raila has now placed demands that he vows must be met or there will be no election. Meanwhile, inside the IBC, a vicious internal war rages. But one man has to ensure a fresh poll happens happens in just 34 days. So how will he make that happen? That uh, continues on page six of the paper, but still on the front page there. Uh, we have a small box there titled uh, Chebukati's Wars. And uh, among them is the fact that uh, the Supreme Court judges accused IBC of acting like a law unto itself. That is how much uh, Chief Justice David Maragas says they flouted the electoral laws during the August 8th election. And uh, so far, Raila Odinga says no algorithm uh, to print ballot papers and no French software supplier uh, to, to uh, handle the transmission of results. So again, uh, very few days for Wafula Chebukati to get that in order. Initially, remember, there were concerns that uh, the initial set date for October 2017, October 17th rather, uh, may not have been realistic to hold the election. We've now seen IBC come out and say they have changed the poll date to the 26th of uh, October, giving uh, Afula Chebukati just about uh, 34 days uh, to get his house in order. So let's take a look at page six of the paper.